Green Eggs and Ham by Dr. Seuss in Education Green Eggs and Ham is a clever piece of literature by Dr. Seuss using only 50 essential words. This composition includes a plot that runs throughout the entire story. In this story, Sam is a tenacious and dynamic character. Sam repeatedly asks a cranky unidentified figure whether he likes green eggs and ham, but she consistently refuses Sam and says she does not. Sam asks the anonymous individual question by question if he would eat green eggs and ham in unusual places, such as a box or with a fox. Sam's persistence infuriates the unidentified persona, which becomes even more cranky than previously. Dr. Seuss made the subject of green eggs and ham plain to his audience. Children must learn to be daring and explore new things before forming an official view. In this tale, Dr. Seuss keeps the grumpy character unidentified to warn children that they, too, can become that personality at times. The use of rhymes and language structures in Seuss works pushes youngsters in ways that other children's literature does not always. Typically, the child will understand that gloopity glup and walk it are not genuine words. They will, however, discover that language can be manipulated and will feel confident in their reading abilities. Based on Seuss, a rhythm is an important tool for children to comprehend when sentences end and begin, the first step in acquiring a language. Once they have mastered it, rhythm can help infants create a motor pattern. As springy, strongly rhythmic language is one of Dr. Seuss' trademarks, the excellent doctor provides a quick lesson in early linguistics. Fneeds and barbier lutes are not actual words, but they make for good rhymes. Such phrases are not only scientifically amusing, but they also motivate children to learn entirely new words. Even if they aren't real, phrases of any kind will aid in developing children's language and cognitive skills. Dr. Seuss values made-up language in particular since he frequently exploits everything for the sake of rhythm. Rhymes frequently show stress rules in a child's mother tongue and match how children naturally talk. When reading this book to children, a specific criterion is included in the process, and this includes A platter of green eggs and ham is brought out to get the children's attention, and the children are asked whether they would ever taste what is on the plate. The children are then introduced to Dr. Seuss books Green Eggs and Ham by trying to find out what they know about the book. The children's prediction of the book's contents and their familiarity with the book is then found by asking questions about the characters and characterization of the book. The parent will then explain to the children what is meant by rhyming words and list examples, i.e., rhyming words end with a similar sound, pan and tan. The children are then instructed to listen to rhyming words and note them as they read the book. As the parent reads the passage, he should pause and ask the youngsters whether they have heard any rhymes and invite them to share them. Using the terms on the class list, students are then asked if they can conceive of any additional words that might rhyme, for example, using the phrases car, far, students may provide possibilities such as bar, and jar. As the anonymous figure did, there are moments in children's life when they tend to assess things before they experience them. They pass judgment on things in the same way that the character did on green eggs and ham. In actuality, they each have their version of green eggs and ham, and they evaluate before confronting it. Green Eggs and Ham is a fun classic story to read with rhymes, images, and, most importantly, a wonderful lesson to learn.